Hey guys, so uh, I decided to do a Let's Play. Um, I had this game, Subnautica. Uh, I got interested in it when I saw a couple guys on YouTube playing Markiplier and Jacksepticeye were playing it on um, on YouTube. They uh, It's a pre-release game, so it's still being updated, but most of the game is already released. I think the full release is due in September sometime. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they keep pushing it back, uh, but they're constantly updating it. So I'm enjoying it. Uh, I did play it on another computer, so I don't have, I don't think I have any save files, unless the save files transfer over on Steam, uh, but they don't. Um, but I wanted to uh, show you guys what the game was all about. I'm enjoying it. It is a lot of fun. It is an open world survival game, uh, and it, it does have a really good story that goes along with it. So I thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing it, and I thought I'd go ahead and play. So here we go. I'll start a new game, obviously, because I can't do I can't do anything else. Um, so there's a few options. You can do survival, freedom, hardcore, creative. Um, survival is just uh, survival is is the basic. You know, you you try to survive. You may die, but you're. Uh, you're not going to lose the game if you die. Freedom, you don't have to worry about going hungry, which would be nice, but that would be too easy. I mean, probably not for me. I mean, I do suck at games. If you see me do my uh, Geek Fuel unboxing, you know I suck at games. Uh, hardcore, if you die, you lose. That's it. That's it. I'm not gonna do that. I would, I would die, and I would lose, and you guys would laugh. Maybe someday. But not today. Uh, and then creative, you don't have to worry about anything. Basically, you can build with no constraints. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should. I wonder if the story would be in that one. No. No, I'm going to go ahead and go to survival. Because I actually do want some kind of challenge. That's how you start. And now you're in danger. Okay, so. Alright, I'm up. I didn't have to do any of that. It's kind of a quick tutorial, a very quick tutorial. Whew! Okay, so the fire's out. Sweet. So here's basically this is your inventory. PDA in emergency mode. I have this not seen this before. Will catalog your inventory, record essential information, and issue survival advice as necessary. It has one directive to keep you alive on a hostile world. Good luck. Okay. Well, thanks for that. That voice you'll get used to. You'll be hearing her a lot. Just for three hours in the circumstances this is considered an optimal outcome. Thanks, that's great. Your PDA now has one directive to keep you alive on a hostile world. Please familiar yourself with this function. Good luck. I think it just said that. Alright, so I can press tab to open or close. Hey look, I have a fire extinguisher. That's great. Alright. Uh, no, put that away. I don't I don't want that. Okay. So everything in here is broken except for this thing. This is a fabricator. It lets you build stuff. Uh, let's see. Over here is a communications relay. I have a... I can get a health... a med kit. I'll pick that up because I'll probably need it right away because like I said, I suck at games. So this is uh, the life pod systems. I can repair those later on, but I can't right now, obviously. Uh, anyway. Open the storage container. Inside, there's a flare, a flare, filtered water, filtered water, 
nutrition block, nutrition block. So, um, I think I'm going to start, uh, let's see how hungry am I. So here, down here are your uh, different meters, O2, you'll see that go down once I hop into the water here in a second. You have um, hunger, thirst, and health. I'm doing it right on all of those. I might grab one of these nutrition blocks just to, maybe I want the filter waters just in case I'm out uh, a little bit longer than I want to be. Uh, but anyway, so you can go up or down. I'm gonna go up just so you guys can see the full scope of this. Uh, here we go. There it is. There's the ship we just crash landed on. As you can see, So, that being said, as you can see, the whole planet is underwater. There's no land. There's the aurora there, there's my life pod, and there's water everywhere. This is why it's called Subnautica, because you are on a world. Water contamination. Hi. Oh no, what does that ever mean? You'll find out. Oh, you'll find out. All right, let's go for a swim, shall we? Okay, so we are in the water. So, oh, oh dang, there's a life pod right there. What? What? That's not been there before. Hello, what is in this life pod? This is new. This is new. What's in here? Okay, what do we got? Open data box. Oh, hey, I can build a compass. Is that it? Is that all that's in here? I guess the compass they want you to have pretty early on in the game. So you can see that my O2 sensor is going down. Um, as you can tell, I need to get up for oxygen and then go back down. Okay, so basically what you have to do is you have to collect resources and survive on this planet. Uh, again, like I said, there is um, a storyline, but you'll get into that later on once you survive a little bit. So you can pick up some of that. Let's take up some of the scrap metal. Let's see, what else can I get? Oh, hey, quartz, quartz is good. Let's get that. Uh, creature egg, no, I don't want to pick that up. All right. Uh, what else is around here? Some mushroom. Ooh. All right, let's get out of here. So, so you see, so I'll tell you when uh, you need oxygen, which is nice. Uh, some more scrap metal will be nice. How am I doing? Oh, I got plenty of space left. Let's see what else I can find. La -di -da. I'm swimming in the ocean. La -di -da. Fishy, come here, fishy. I want a fishy. Fishy, fishy, come here. Ah, missed it. I'm bad at catching fish. Not just in this game. Aha, got it. Can't pick up that one. That one's too big. Quartz. Quartz is good. Go away. I don't want you. Oh. Ten seconds of oxygen. All right. Put that away. I don't, I don't want you. No, no, come back. How do I, how do I put you away? Ah, I forgot how to put you away. Dang it. Right, oh, also, there's this one. This is a bladder fish. I can get water from the bladder fish. This is what's called the safe shallows. Um, Basically, nothing in this area is going to kill you. There is some moderate danger not too far away. If I start wandering out that direction, I don't see any right now. There's some monsters out this way, but I think I want to come out this direction. Get some of that. Get some of that. Swim to the surface. All right, okay, so that's nice. Okay, so then over here, 
We also have these, they're called Creek Vines. They're nice to have around. Oh boy, uh, I don't like that. Ah, new blueprint acquired, very nice. Smortis salvage. Life on this planet grows in distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further sturdy recommended. All right, so let's go back. I'm going to show you guys what I can do with the fabricator and see what I need to collect. So let's go ahead and hop up. What do we got? Okay, so fabricator right behind me. First of all, uh, sustenance. I can make, so the bladder fish can do one of two things. It can make water or I can make cooked bladder fish. I want to go ahead and make some water. I know that I'm going to need some of that. But I do also need to make food. Because I will die. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do like eating food that is safe for human consumption. Okay, so uh, the reason I picked up all that metal salvage was so I could make titanium. Titanium is like one of the most needed resources at the beginning of the game. I'm going to need a lot, and I mean a lot of titanium. So that's why I picked up all that metal salvage. I can make a titanium ingot. I don't need one right now. Let's see, I can make glass. I can make lubricant. I can make all sorts of things. Uh, but what do I need? Equipment. Okay, I can make some pipes. I don't need that. Man, what do I need? Okay. I could use an O2 tank, which means I need some glass. Let me make some glass real quick. I think I could. Uh, glass. Quartz times two. Very nice. And then I will make that... So I, and then I can make a high capacity O2 tank. That requires a little more material, but I'll go ahead and make this O2 tank, and that would be better than nothing. It went from 45 to 75, so now I have 75 oxygen instead of 45, which is a substantial increase on in what I had before. What can I make with tools? Uh, scanner, I, can, I need a battery for a scanner. Repair tool, I'll need some of that. I'll need that to repair my um, the thing I'm in, uh, light pod. Yes, uh, flashlight, not important, survival knife, silicone rubber, can I make silicone rubber, where was that, silicone rubber, yes, yes, I can make silicone rubber, very nice, and then I go back, and I can make fins, yay, that's going to help me swim a little bit faster, get around a little bit quicker, let's see what else do I need, first aid kit, now I got that thing behind me, uh, compass, I need copper wire computer chip, uh, so far I've not used a compass, um, but I think it might be useful at some point. We'll see. I might, I might try making it this time just to see if it is useful. Uh, okay. What else? Deployables, waterproof locker, that might be useful. Let's go ahead and make one of those. I'll make one of those. Inventory full. Inventory, ah, inventory full. What? That thing must be huge. It's huge. I'll put some of this stuff in this locker for now. Uh, what do I want? Let's drop some of this titanium in there. Can I? There we go. All right, drop all that titanium in there. Then I can pick this bad boy up. That thing is huge. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, what this does, Oh, it's night. It's night time. Yes, this is day night cycle in this game, and currently it is night time. All right, so I can deploy this locker. It gives me a little bit more storage space outside of this bad boy. Um, I'm going to go back inside for now. I don't like night. Bad things come out at night, although this is the same shallows. I tell you what, this game is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that moon. And I mean, it's just... They did such a great job with this game. Anyway, uh, yeah, I know, I need to eat. Thank you. Uh, filtered water, filtered water. Let's have some of that and some of that. Yum, yum. Okay. All right, so what do I need? What do I need? Let's see, if I, I need to make a, what do I need? I need to make 
No, I need to make tools. I need to make a scanner and a repair tool to get things started off right. For a scanner, I need battery and titanium. For a repair tool, I need salt deposit, cave sulfur, and titanium. I think the cave sulfur is something. Oh, wait, hold on. I need a knife. A knife would be good. Uh, silicone rubber. I think I can make that still. Yes. And make another one. And one more. Because that can come in handy. Uh, and then open this, and I can get some of that titanium up, up there. And I can make a... Ready? Ready for it? A knife. Boom. Alright. So, that's nice to... Standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. As an essential survival tool for two point five million years, the knife remains the only exception. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> she said sorry about that. Alright, so I think for the battery, what do I need? Uh, it's just battery, battery. I need copper ore which is easy enough to find. Uh, so I need to find me some copper ore. I have the S and... I think, yeah. Yeah, I have... Oh, wait, no. Battery, yeah. I have the S and mushrooms. I just need to find copper ore. Easy enough to find. Uh, but then I also need salt and cave sulfur, which is going to be one of the more difficult things to find. So let's not, okay, it's like, it's day again, that's good. All right, cool. So I swim a little faster, I can stay underwater a little bit longer, which we had about this, besides playing with it, is I can actually cut stuff down now. Let me take that, all right. So, uh, copper. Copper can be found uh, in those little deposits. Ah, here we go. I can find copper in here. Copper is an essential yes. Your probability of survival has just increased by 11 Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I did that for a very specific reason. I'll show you later. Ooh, hey, hi. What's that noise? Why did the music get ominous all of a sudden? Okay, I could always use some more ports. That's also very... Helpful. Oxygen. Oh, oxygen. Aurora, is that you making all that noise? Stop it. It's very ominous. I don't like it. Okay. Um. Oh, hello there. What are you? You're a geyser. I'm assuming I don't want to go down there. That's probably a bad idea. Ooh, what's all this? This is wreckage. So in wreckage, you will often find uh, what's called scannables. Um, once you get that scanner that I'm trying to make right now, uh, I'll be able to come back to here and scan some of the stuff that's around here and make more stuff. So I'll have to remember that this is here, but for now, I am looking for copper. Copper and other things. <laughs> what was it? Copper. Uh, the cave sulfur. I know what that is, and I don't like getting that. Uh, that's a pain in the butt to get. Oxygen! Oxygen! That's a creepy noise. That's that thing right there. Those things, uh, harmless unless you get too close, and they spit out like a toxin. Don't get too close. They're not going to attack you if you keep your distance. So, keep your distance. Okay. What we got? So you heard that, you see those yellow things? They'll explode if you get too close to them and poison you, and that is no fun. So don't get too close to those. Oh yeah, see, just like that. Okay. So keep your distance from those. Ah, ooh, hi. Not those things. Aha, okay, that's what I needed actually. Did you hear that and hear that explosion? That is cave sulfur right there. But those things right there, that bad boy, he is not a friendly. He is not a friendly. 
I don't want to go over there. Okay, so basically I'm going to go, I have to go into these caves to find what I need to continue going on. Alright. Limestone? Sandstone? What it? Uh, gold. No, I don't need gold. All this dang gold. Ah, silver? Alright, not bad. Creature egg? No, thank you. So the problem with going into these caves is that you get lost, and if you get lost and can't come back out, you drown. Bad news. Okay, so back into the caves I go. More silver. Very. I know I need silver. Ooh, hello. Ah. Ah. Yep. That's what I need actually. Okay. Okay. So hopefully this thing will have. Cave sulfur, that's what I need. Okay. Is that everything I needed? I got to, uh, one copper. I got one copper. Let me, let me see if I can find some more copper before I go back to my. What to call it? Also, I could use some salt. So if you see some salt, let me know. Copper, yes. Okay. Ooh, oxygen. Keep an eye out for salt for me. I might need that. I am going to need that. There's no might about it. I am going to need some salt. It looks like salt. You know, so just let me know. Let me know if I miss it. Ah, oh, you guys are ugly. Stay away, stay away. Don't, don't do it. Ah, don't do it. Don't explode. Ah. You guys are scary. You guys are ugly. Like I said, harmless, unless you swim into that yellow stuff. Hey, come here, I want you. Oh, no, don't swim into that. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, don't, don't let that happen. Fortunately, you heal pretty quickly from that. But it... Yeah, I know. Okay, so let me go ahead and need one of these nutrient blocks. Boom. Okay, yeah. Stop telling me I'm dying. I'm not dying anymore. Maybe I just need to go back, grab a couple bladder fish on my way. I wanted to show you why I needed those table coral samples, but I can't find salt, and you need salt. Basically, if you mix table coral and salt, you get water, because that makes sense. So, but I just need... I'll just take these bladder fish then. I need you. Come here, you. Jeez. Ow, another one? Jeez. Okay, where am I going? There's, there's my life pod, okay. Let's go back over here. I think I got everything I need to make the tools that I need it right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these first aid kits because I'm so close to dying. And the last thing I want to do is die on my first outing because that would be embarrassing. La -di -da, I'm almost there. La -di -da, I'm almost there. Boom. There. Okay. So. Let's see, fabricator, all right. Resources, I know I need one of them there. Batteries, boom. Okay, do that, then go to tools. I can make a scanner, fantastic. What am I missing? Salt. Okay, so I do need salt to make that repair tool. All right, uh, that's enough food. Let me go ahead and get some of this water. Cause I need water more than I need food. Glop, glop, glop. All right, and eat myself a bladder fish. Look at me, look at me all healthy and whatnot. Take another one of these. Boom, looks like I haven't been spending a couple of days in the ocean. Look at that, look at how healthy I am. All right, so I need salt. 
That is what I need. The thing that I need is salt. So, keep an eye out for salt. Because, oh, ah, haha. <laughs> there it is. That salt right there. Okay. I'm going to need some of this. There's one. There's another one. I need two for that, uh, for the fabricator. Uh, but then I also want a couple more for other reasons. For the water that I was talking about. Lead, yay. Okay, lead is gonna be useful for making a radiation suit, which I don't need right now per se, but I will later on. I have 30 seconds of oxygen. Yes, thank you so much. Holy cow, I'm down far. Can I get back up? Let's see if I can find a couple more things of salt, and then I will go back and make the thing that I need to make. And fix my, what you call it, because that is the ultimate goal right now. Oh, look, more gold. You know, if I were, uh... If I were on Earth, that would be fantastic. But here I am on a desolate planet. Gold is not the, the gold is like the last thing from my mind. Although I guess it will be useful for making stuff like ah, aha! Look at that, all the salt that I could ever need. Well, you know, two, which is better than what I was finding before. What is this? What is this? Hold on. Okay, so this is one of them. There's ah, oh, ah, ah, geez. That was a bloodsucker. It's like a leech, but it'll kill you. Jeez. That scared me. Alright. So this is one of those cannibals that I was talking about. Hopefully I don't get eaten again. I don't know what it is. Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, that's nice. That is something that I need. No, stop. Stop. Ah, jeez. Jeez, I hate those things. <sighs> Mobile vehicle bay will be useful. Not right now, but I'll take it. Because that's one less. So they scatter a bunch of sc scannables, like I said, around, um, around the ocean floor. And you get to scan it, and it gives you blueprints, and you can build those things uh, later on in the game. Um, but for now... I, uh, the mobile vehicle bay isn't necessarily what I need. It is nice because uh, you need multiple. I don't know if you saw it while I was being attacked uh, by that blood sucking leech type thing. Uh, geez, just saying it out loud. This place is creepy. Let's just say it right now. Underwater is creepy, and this this game does a really good job of just showing just how creepy underwater can be. Um, so, go back on. I think I should be able to make a couple of different things now. Boom, fabricator. Uh, hold on, wait, tools, let's go to tools first. Repair tool, yes, I can make a repair tool. Let's repair all the things. Okay, repair tool. Uh, come on, repair tool, there it is. Oh, only 40. Ah, what, why would you touch it? Dummy. Don't touch the tip of the repair tool. Hey, look. I'm back online. Everything's so pretty now. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to happen. You're alone. You're alone in this sad, sad world. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to find, and it's night. I'm going to get my knife back out. So there's one more thing. If I'm not mistaken, things also get more aggressive at night just because that's how things work, right? Right? Uh, okay. Also, things get just... 
God, it's just so much scarier at night. Jeez. Don't swim in the ocean. Especially don't swim in the ocean at night. Did you hear that? Oh, gosh. Okay, so there's that thing. I think that wreckage was somewhere near here, wasn't it? Why does it seem like I'm not swimming faster? I mean, I had my flippers on. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I thought I would... Okay, this is, this is the wreckage right here. Let's see what kind of scannables I can get from here. What do you have for me? Nothing. More of nothing. Ah, sw swivel chair. That's what I need right there. That is the thing that I need right now is a swivel chair. Okay, cool. All right, a giant coral too. So you can basically scan everything. Look at this. Look at, look, look at, okay, you can't scan that. <laughs> you can scan everything. You can scan that. It's like a song. You can scan everything. Okay, so, is that the only scannable that was here? A little bit? Yeah, and nothing in there. I guess so. Well, that's bogus. Is there in, is there a way in? Is there a way in? Bogus. Why would they give you a squiggle chair? That's ah uh, okay. So I guess that's everything out of this wreckage. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I wonder if they change when the alert comes based on how deep you are. Because it was thirty seconds of oxygen before. I guess since I'm not as deep, they didn't tell me as as soon. So, like I said, you can scan basically everything. There we go, I can scan an acid mushroom. Oh, I can do a self-scan. What do I have to say about myself? Mm, and there is your first clue at the storyline of this game. Um, like I said, I'm not going to say anything else, uh, but uh, yeah, there it is. I'm just, I'm not, I'm just going to stop before, uh, before I give away too much more. What, what, was that? what was it? Okay. So there is one particular thing that I'm looking for that will help me in my endeavors in this great ocean environment. Uh, and if I could find that, I think, what, what is it? What, what hit me? Why did I get hit? What did I get hit with? What was it? You guys saw that, right? You guys saw me take damage, right? Or am I just crazy? You guys saw that, right? That was so weird. Okay. So like I was saying, there's one piece of equipment that I would like to find before I call it quits today. Ah, not metal salvage. Inventory full. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Uh, this may take a while. I'll probably cut out uh, the parts that you don't need to see, which is me, you know, looking for all those pieces. Oh, I can breathe. Those things are annoying. I had one follow me all the way out of the water one time. Trash can, yes. Also what I need. Hey, right, can I get a blueprint for a forklift? That'd be great. Hey, thanks for that. Oh, look. Ooh, radiation detected. Okay, so if you get too close to the aurora, you get radiation, which will kill you slowly. Ah, no, stay away. Can I even get to this wreckage? Uh, the way you solve that issue is with a radiation suit, which I don't have right now, so obviously I don't want to get too close to the aurora. 
Ah, wait, is that, that's something, is that what I, that, okay, that's it, Sea Glide Fragment. So this thing is, I guess I have it, I have it, yes, yes. Oh, also these bubbles, good for your health. I can breathe. <laughs> Anyway, so you, you can bring in those bubbles, which is really nice. Let me show you what this Sea Glide is, and I think I will call it a night on this adventure. Oh, hey, I got a new message. All right, swim slowly. Swim so slowly. Oh, oh no, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't see you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. La da da, swimming slow. It's over here. La di da. That's the wreckage I saw before. La di da. La di da. Okay. Okay. What's my new message say? Aurora crew, this is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go more without us. Seriously. 3 out. Okay. Well, we're not going anywhere, 3, so, you know, don't worry about that. Also, should use my med kit. If I had one, I'd use one. Doesn't look like I have one. Alright, let's see. What can I make now? Bleach. Alright. So, I can make bleach, and with bleach, I can make disinfected water. And disinfected water is better than filtered water. Remember that. Disinfected water is better than filtered water. Always drink disinfected water. I will take that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Decomposing cooked peeper. Do not eat decomposing crap. It's bad for your health. It's bad for everything. Okay, so that's being said. Uh, so, nope. Uh, 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 tools? Deployables? Sea Glide. All right, so I need a battery, I need lubricant, I need copper wire. Easy enough. <laughs> Okay, we need running for copper wire. Probably just copper. Battery. Nope. Okay, copper wire. Copper wire. Copper ore times two. But I also need copper ore for batteries. So, let me. Oh, hey, look, there's light pod three. Over there. All the way over there. Okay, let's see. Uh, open you. Let's put in. Holy crap. So much quartz. So much titanium. Okay, actually I want to keep some quartz. I think I want to put in this gold, this lead, things I'm not going to use right now. Silicone rubber, gold, gold, uh, more bleach. Uh, I need the silver. Uh, probably this fire extinguisher is not going to be useful right now. I'll get rid of that when I go outside. Uh, way too much titanium. Uh, that's more manageable. Mission, shall I choose to accept it, is to make more disinfected water. No, uh, I need to find copper. I need to get some creep fine sea clusters. And I think that's it, right? Right? Yeah, so do I have, do I have enough? I have, acid mushrooms are easy to find. I will find those. Oh look, acid mushrooms. Okay, so I need copper, and I need uh, copper, copper and clusters. Okay. Holy cow! Why is it getting dark? Is night coming? Oh no, it's an eclipse. Yeah. So this game actually has eclipse. Holy cow! And it makes the whole place dark. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Wait a minute. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? 
Oh man, okay, so, you know, now that that's over, back to business. Also, who wants to be underwater when it's pitch black out? Who wants to be underwater anyway? <laughs> Copper! Three of those bad boys should be enough. I need copper. Dun, 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 dun. I need copper. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, yeah, hey, hot. Don't go in the hot. Oh, jeez, it's so dark down here. Uh, can I get some? Thank you. Oh, jeez, it's so dark everywhere. I'm full of sadness. I'm so full of sadness. Holy damn, what was that? Oh gosh. I'm full of fear too. That was so close to my escape pod. How did I not see that before? Oh, hey, whoa! Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go away. I'm sorry. Oh, oh jeez. Look up and there's a monster right in front of you. That's always fun. Oh, there's one, there's one. Ah, there's one. How did I not see you? Are you gone? Are you still following me? Oh, gosh. Uh, I guess I need to start looking where I'm going. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought I got away. Can't really... I should probably go get a health. Probably sending all sorts of weird noises into my mic now. Okay, I should probably go get a health thing, but I think all those things are gone. Let me wander into those caves again and see what happens. Excuse you. I'm gonna die! Dad, who's in it? Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, I gotta go back and get health. Do I have one? No, okay, I have to go back and get some health. Oh, Oxygen. Those things are creepy. Everything's creepy. What am I saying? Why am I saying those things are creepy? Like, everything wants to kill me. Come here, you boomerang. Come back. I want to eat you. <laughs> As I say, everything wants to eat me. I want to eat you. Warning, local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Copper, yes, that's two of three. Ooh, yeah, those things will hurt you too. Stay away from those. You know, like this. Basically, don't touch them. Copper! Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, time to go. Don't touch those. Go up, 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 go up. Faster, faster, faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Okay, I'm fine. Here I am. Use that. Uh, 
What do I need? Okay, deployables, sea glide, battery, lubricant, copper wire. Okay, basic materials, lubricant. I want to go ahead and make two lubricants. I want to go ahead and make three lubricants. And maybe some bleach. And some more bleach. No. Wait. Did I mess up? I might have messed up. Copper wire. No, no, I needed the salt for the other thing. Okay, wait, wait. And the battery? Battery. I need a battery. Oh no, I don't have us in mushrooms. What do I do? I think I need two. Oh look, I have us in mushrooms. <laughs> Acid mushrooms. <laughs> Resources, electronics, battery. Okay, all right. So now that I have that, I can make the sea glide. <sighs> this is going to make for a great. Whee! Whee! Oh man, I can zip around so fast now. So nice. It could even come standard with a flashlight. Are we kids? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that is the sea glide. And that is the thing that is going to help me get so much further in this game. I should probably grab something to eat real quick. It's gonna make life so much easier. Hey, Peeper, come here. Come here, Peeper. Peepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Peepers, creepers. Manifish. Bladderfish. Oh, I got a new message. What's that message say? Okay. Let's eat some food, shall we? This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 4. Coordinates and coordinates attached. Symbol planet. Since planet fall, Pod has not sustained damage. No crew members have disembarked. Zero life signs have been detected on board. Recommended investigation. Sweet. So. Okay, guys. So, I think <laughs> that is all, the th all that I have time for on this episode. Um, I have two Life Pods that I need to go check out out um they did say to stay within five kilometers which both of those are within five kilometers so we'll see um i'll maybe go check those out next time uh but for the time being i think i'm gonna have to sign out and um then I will catch you next time i hope you enjoyed it let me know how i did let me know what you think down in the comments if you want to see me play some more let me know uh, if there's any other games you'd like to see me play. Let me know as well. I do. I also downloaded Civ 5. I want to uh, play some of that. Maybe see if Ruth will uh, play with me on that one. We'll see. She's unsure about that. But I do want to play Civ 5 too. Um, but let me know how I did. Let me know if there's anything that I missed down in the comments. Probably missed a lot. Like that sea light fragment that was half the distance away from my life pod. 
the ocean sucks. Anyway, uh, I guess that is all, uh, and until next time.